Good afternoon and welcome to the Kanju TV. Here the news. Europe returns to some normal way of life. No progress in curbing the COVID-19 outbreak, says IRC. Brazil to overtake Russia in COVID-19 cases. After weeks of lockdown, Europe has returned to some normal way of life, but putting social distancing and testing measures in place. Restrictions are being lifted. Schools and businesses are reopening. Germany has said that it will keep the reopening under control and will apply an emergency break anywhere there is a surge in new infections, said Chancellor Angela Merkel. Although it has since May 16 started its European Football League Bundesliga behind closed doors. Germany, Liechtenstein and Switzerland are set to also open borders next month. Austria summer tourist season is being prepared for with extra precaution to prevent a surgery occurrence of coronavirus. Also, Chancellor Sabase Kors stated that tourists from countries that have COVID-19 under control can be assured of maximum safety and maximum enjoyment, adding that social distancing will continue and hotel staff will be subjected to regular testing for COVID-19. According to Mr. Kors, we need to ensure that the infection rate remains low. The lower the infection numbers, the more people will go out. Also, in Cyprus, more restrictions are to be lifted to include reopening of primary schools, outdoor caves, hair salons, and gatherings with no more than 10 people. Also, it is as sworn that safety rules such as social gathering and mask wearing must be had as to in public, also by young people over the age of six. Milan Mayor Gispi Sala said he has called for increase in patrols of night spots by the police and to give students fines and to also close any restaurants or bars in breach of the rules. The Spanish Football League, La Liga, will restart from June 8, but behind closed doors, and may open to the public in July if conditions allow. Spain Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez also said that the country will open its borders to foreign tourists from July under certain security conditions that will ensure people's safety. The Prime Minister in a statement said, foreign tourists can therefore now plan their holidays. Yesterday, restrictions have also been eased in Madrid, Barcelona, Malaga, and Granada. Spain's restriction rules, being one of the toughest in Europe, was imposed in March. Before yesterday, Madrid and Barcelona were under tight lockdown due to their more severe cases of coronavirus. On Saturday, against the lockdown restrictions, thousands of protesters in their cars and on motorbikes have come out in Madrid, the capital. The protest came after the 14-day extension of restrictions on people's movement was announced by the Prime Minister. The head of the International Rescue Committee, David Miliband, has one of the dangerous prospects the coronavirus is likely to bring due to inadequate testing in the pandemic hit countries in the world, which he said is undetected and potentially uncontrolled in those countries. He said that the efforts put in in fighting the pandemic are nowhere near a success. Far from making progress in COVID outbreak, the lack of testing is a major barrier to even seeing the tip of this global iceberg, let alone its full and devastating scale, he said. He added that it was a race against time to see well of countries taking up responsibility to provide funding towards global solutions to COVID-19 outbreaks. According to David Melband, COVID-19 has already brought the strongest health systems in the world to their knees, and we are now seeing virus hotspots growing in parts of Africa, Asia, the Middle East, and Latin America. He said that testing rates in countries such as Nigeria, North East Syria, and Yemen are among the lowest. This week, Brazil and Mexico set to have recorded numbers of cases of coronavirus virtually every day, fueling criticism of their president for not have put in place active measures against the infections, but protecting the safety of the country's economy. Brazil is said to become the second highest number of coronavirus in the world and the hardest hit nation in Latin America, as the country recorded over 330,890 cases of COVID-19, with 21,048 coronavirus-related deaths. The vehicle followed behind only two countries, Russia 335,882 and the U.S. 1.6 million cases. However, decisions are yet to be taken across the states and cities on whether the restrictions should be relaxed. You are watching the Kanju TV. Subscribe to our channel for more news updates.